So to install the latest version of Warfare 44 2.2 as an early release, you'll need to download these two items right here. But this one over here, Inventorship 1.0.0 Beta, is uh, highly recommended to download since it includes World War II blocks. You can use these World War II blocks to uh, make your maps and ser servers, etc. to look a lot nicer. So the way you go about it is you take both of these Flights but plus 1.0.5 for release and invention 1.0.0 beta jar and move them into your mods folder. After that, you're going to download the content pack itself, work for 44 content pack, and download that into, and move it into Flans. After you uh, do that, you can launch your game and you'll notice that in game you won't have uh, any World War II blocks. So after you launch the game, X out, and go to the config. And you'll find there's a new one here called invention.json. Open that up, and it'll say false. Set that to true, like that. Have a space and everything. Exact same way I have it right here. Save it and X out, and you'll have over two blocks when you enter. To add more blocks uh, through a content pack system for an invention, you'll be using this folder right here. I will teach you guys how to do that in a later tutorial once I have fi figured it out myself, to be honest. I've uh, started on it, but I will be posting a video very shortly soon to uh, teach you how to do that also yourself. Now, I'm going to uh, answer a few questions and FAQs, for more, more or less, for uh, Warfare 44, Future, and this block mod that just spontaneously came out of nowhere. So starting off the list, uh, we'll start with Warfare 44 and its future. So I'm going to quickly describe here and how I'm going to be setting up Warfare 44 from uh, now on. Any uh, release that has ends in a point zero, such as 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, and so on, means a new nation is being released. As of now, 3.0 is in progress, which will be adding the Japanese nation. After that, there'd be France, then Italy, and then smaller nations after that, such as Czechoslovakia, Dutch, and Polish, or Poland. Uh, there might be more in, a few, in the future, but that's what I plan on doing. Anything that ends in a point five is basically when I add more vehicles and or guns to existing nations from the update prior, such as planes for America or Germany, etc. But not Japan at that point, because Japan would be 3.0. Anything that ends in a point one, two, three, four, then 6, 7, 8, 9 is bug releases or bug fixes, more or less. Uh, balancing or bug fixes and just changing small things. So that's how that's going to work out. And now to go over the block mod. So at the moment, the block mod only supports vanilla blocks made by custom content creators, which I'll be posting a video about how to do soon. Uh, however, 3D blocks at the moment has to be directed, directly inserted into the code per se. So that is not ready per se. It's just been released. So once we get that done, there will be a Warfare 44 content pack for blocks, which will include all the 3D blocks that you've been using now and more 2D vanilla blocks, as I should say. Uh, then you'll be able to make your own content pack using both of those. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get your newest version of Flans mod working, 1.0.5 with uh, Warfare 44 2.2, along with the invention mod that me and Deltric have made for you recently. And I hope you will uh, also try to join uh, Deltric's server by uh, the name Cubefoot Remastered, which will be using all these mods, and so you can play with your friends and all, without having to uh, set up a server yourself. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a good uh, rest of your day, and I hope this helped. Thanks. Goodbye.